Okay, y'all. So depending on how I put this together, I don't know how it's gonna be or whatever. But basically, today is Sunday. Um, I don't even did. Oh, you know what? I did get the record footage yesterday. Mm -hmm. and ready and stuff for free. Okay. Out. Yeah. So depending on the videos you took, that might be the last thing we see. I don't know. Y'all just see. She's just gonna add it in. Yeah. From there. So mm -hmm. we gonna talk about last night. What happened last night at Aces? Okay. So last night it was. It was slow to begin with because I got there real early. So because I got there early, I had to wait like at the club across the street. And I couldn't wait there like for the whole time, but thank God like I got there in just the nick of time. Like it was like 9.30 or so. Mm -hmm. And that's the time that it opens. And then like the guy, I was sitting at the bar and the guy was like, oh, um, are you a day's time dancer? I was like, no, but I'm waiting for the other club because I don't want to stand outside the cold. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, well, you can't be out here without a male escort. I'm like, okay, well, sorry, but I took my time getting ready to get up out of there. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not about to rush for nobody. And I don't, you feel me? I don't know the name. And what's so, your name? Was it Raven? It was Drizzlin, but I had my little hoodie. So I was okay. So that's why I said, but I was just like, whatever. Like, And I made sure there was people. Because he was like, there's people in the parking lot. You can go over there. And I'm like, okay. But um, then I went inside. And when I was going inside, I forgot to check in. But then the lady was like, um, just give us $100 and then I'll check in or whatever. And I guess like when I wrote my name down, my stage name, that was like also going according to the DJ list. So mm -hmm. that I didn't realize that until like later on at night. But that don't really matter. So then um, I started sitting in the dressing room, getting ready. It was like one girl then when I first arrived. Then um, I was sitting, chilling started getting ready around 11 o'clock. I didn't go onto the floor until 11 o'clock. So I'm like, nah, it's really, really dead. And, I, and the music wasn't even on. So that was a ride. Then afterwards, I got on the floor. As soon as I got on the floor, it was like two. Well, I didn't really get on the floor. I wasn't like dancing or nothing. Mm -hmm. But I sat like next to the stage and I sat down just to, you feel me, scope the room out. And um, it was two girls and like, uh, yeah, no, not not dancers, customers. It was two ladies. And they was um one of them came up to me and she was like, Oh, do you wanna dance? I was like, Do you wanna dance? <laughs> she was she was she was like, Yeah, like let's go da 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 So I was like, oh, okay, like, all right, like things come to me. And it's so crazy because I was speaking it into into fruition. Mm -hmm. Like money just gonna come to me easy. Like I'm not like, yeah, I know yeah, I know this is the season of pushing through, but girl, I was in pain. Like my knee, I couldn't do. I, like my feet, I had to get used to my shoes. I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't do it. So once that happened, hold on, let me get this. Let me go down. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so once that happened. I was dancing, dancing, dancing. They started throwing one. She told me that her birthday coming up, she had Capricorn. The other girl is a Pisces. And then the guy, he was just sitting in the corner, like just chilling. So in my head, I'm thinking like he probably brought them out or something or whatever. Then um, I kept dancing. Um, I got topless for them. Then they started throwing more money. Then after they started throwing more money, she asked me where was the ATM. I pulled it up to the ATM. Then I went to the back to go freshen up. Now. At the beginning when I was first dancing, I didn't mention that I seen like these two dancers that seen me like from across the bar. They seen me like dancing and whatnot, like with them. So I felt like it, this was about to be another moment at Aces where I'm about to get my money stolen or something like that. But this is when they went to the ATM or whatever. And that's when I went to the back to, um, you feel me, freshen up. I come back, I see them talking to them and then I'm just like, hmm, like, okay. Like they trying to take a little bit of my money. I don't know if they threw some money on them. They they probably did if they did kudos to them but then like once i came back around and i like walked around or whatever not to make it hot because you know you want to look at something but you really don't want to look at something so that's yeah. what i did so after that i walked around and i ended up walking back to them and the girls was gone at that time and i seen that they had even more money so i'm like okay like yeah so i'm like all right good like this this is a steady flow night so I make my money, whatever. Then they left. Then after that, it started slowing down. Like, at least for me. Like, everyone else was getting money thrown on stage. I even got on stage, but I ain't getting no money thrown at me. But after I got off stage, that was around, like, 2 o'clock. Like, 2... Yeah, 2 o'clock. 2.20. 2.20. 
No, I got on stage when I first got there. I got on stage after they was done throwing money. And they threw money on me on stage too because she told me to get on stage and she threw money on me. So three, four times, three, four times. And in the end of the night, I tried to get on stage, but some girl beat me to it. So after that um, moment with them or whatever, I was walking around asking the ball if I could dance for them or whatever. Everybody kept saying no. Like the guys, they was acting like they ain't had money that they wanted to spend, but it was money in the air. So I'm confused. So... You know, I go to the back, freshen up or whatever. Then I come back around. I scope around the room for me, bar, stage, floor. And then I start, I sit on the pool table. And I mentioned this in the video. I sit on the pool table and it was like girls sitting there too. And then I seen like a guy coming out the bathroom. And when he was coming out the bathroom, he told me, he was like, oh, come over to our table when you're done. So then I went over to their table like a few minutes later and he was like, what took you so long? I was like, listen, I was trying to freshen up. I just got, da, 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 just giving excuses because I was really going back and forth for myself because I'm like, I'm from New York. Listen, when somebody tell me, I'm sorry, when somebody tell me like, oh, when you done, like it's the way how he said it. I'm just like, nigga, who? <laughs> I'm like, what the, f so I'm like, all right, so you need to get out your head. Like you do it too much. Just, this is about dancing it's about you getting money so i end up going over there he like oh da, 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 da. i'm talking about this that, and the third asking me want to dance he asked me how much i was him 10 he gonna give me 20 and yeah that was the end of my day by the time i was done it was three o'clock i was like oh gotta go okay so i don't even know if we told y'all this but basically on friday when we went to work when we was gonna go to rumors somebody made it very hard for her to dance Y'all, she was literally dancing at, at my club since, what? October. Wednesday? No, yeah, she got hired back in October. When she got hired, we did everything that they told her to do. Like, she got hired, she filled out the paperwork, and they told her, the only thing you gotta do is when you get the permit, just come to work and you can work. And that's what she did. When she got her permit, we came to work, and they let her work. Her first night was free. She literally worked two days, and then Friday, a dancer, it's just funny how shit works and how this... It's just funny how every time I pick a name for a season, it fits that season without me even knowing that that was going to be the name. So, basically, the dancer is a house mom or whatever. Because we've been needing, like... We've been needing staff at my club. But wait, wait, hold on. She was dancing. She was there. She's a dancer, too. I know, but was she there when I was working... The other my, my first year. Yeah. That's why, that's why I can't okay. tell you that. Okay, okay. So, that... I mentioned it in the video. Did I? I probably didn't, but I was, I was so mad in the cab to the point where <laughs> I was popping my shit, like, yeah. real life, like, just talking my shit. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, wait, hold on. If you was there the other days and then you talk about how you this house mom that, that you want to make sure everything's good with everybody, this, that, and the third... And you see me work in the past days. Why you ain't say nothing like, oh, because other you... day she wasn't the house mom. It don't matter the though. Day. Well, listen. So it's... like, not taking up for her. In order for her to even have known, she's still wrong as fuck because she seen you dancing. Yeah. But I feel like the night she was the house mom, she purposely like, and because she seen you mm -hmm. and she know you was with me, she purposely like because she the was mode. the house mom. Yeah, because she was the house mom. Child. But the thing was, it's it's not an issue. She's still hired at my club. Mm -hmm. Only thing she got to do is just come back and fill the paperwork out. But the lady who... It's other paperwork you got to fill out, like new hire paperwork, which nobody told us that. So the lady only available Monday through Friday. She don't meet her on the weekend, so that's why she was unable to go back. But the crazy thing is, you made it so difficult for her to not work. But little did you know, my club was sold the whole weekend. So it's just like, yeah, like you you ain't even make no money. I barely made money. And I was there, like you you ain't even dressed out. So it's just like sometimes people will see you doing shit and you ain't stop shit. Like you ain't I, and I told her that I'm like, she got a club to work at. Like you ain't stop nobody bad. By the end of the day, I don't hate you because that situation, I feel like that situation helped you to see like when it comes to dancing. You just never know. Like you got said it in my you gonna see, you gonna <laughs> see. Bitch, I was so like, I don't know. I don't wanna say like I was traumatized, but I no, was, I was triggered. triggered. I was triggered. Yeah. I was triggered. I was like, damn. And then when you were going back and forth, I'm like, Bree. No, because it just be like, <laughs> I wasn't gonna go, y'all was I should have recorded that for y'all, but like, no, like you're not about to play in my face. Like, cause y'all, she like you can hear her New York accent in her. But, like, the night when it happened, 
the girl just basically told her, you can't work. And she was like, okay, Rio, I can't work. So me, bitch, what you mean she can't work? Like, you need to explain, <laughs> like, what the fuck going on? Yeah. But anyways, long story short, my club is a more easier club to navigate in versus Aces. And I was texting her earlier, and I told her, I said, despite the money flow, like how the money was going, you should be proud of yourself because Aces is a section club. Aces yeah. is a club you have to be. You gotta be aggressive as fuck in there. Like yeah. you have to be on your shit for real. Like bitches don't give a fuck. Bitches don't give yeah. a fuck in no clubs, but in there it ain't no. You all you have to be. I don't like if you're not aggressive, you have to be, be on it. And I left with a hundred and oh yeah, I was gonna tell them that too. So oh, one, one, one. that was like really special to me. So and then the, yeah, yeah. And then um, when was I looking at my phone? Like, I went inside the dressing room, and I seen 222 again, like, on my phone. Because remember when I told you I went inside the dressing room at, like, 2 o'clock at that time? So then after when I left, I didn't even count my money until I got home. I was like, damn. You're going to see it in the video. Because I recorded everything. Like, I okay, so... How much money are you... So, today, tonight is Sunday. We were talking about if she wanted to work or if she just, like, wanted to chill out. The tip, it, the tip out for Aces on the weekend is a hundred is higher mm -hmm. or whatever. How much money are you leaving with? She not working tonight. She just gonna chill out with me tonight at my club. And when it's time to take her to the airport, I'm taking her to the airport because her flight. You said six forty. Yeah, six forty. Okay. And in Atlanta, you gotta be to the airport way before then. Like, yeah. At least two and a half hours before then. Yeah. But how much are you leaving with? I didn't count. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> And then also, anybody else that's, like, watching this, I want y'all to keep in mind that, like, she is, like, a new, new dancer, like, fresh off the porch. Like, it's so much stuff she gonna, like, improve on, so much stuff she gonna get better. But the fact I'm that ready. she... She already got me, um, doing schedules for when I go back home for, um, my pole classes. Because I, I haven't even gotten that yet, but y'all already know she told me not to spend no money. I can't go home and buy weed with this shit. So <laughs> I gotta make it work, child. And I got I cut my rip dollar. Oh, this is the dollar that I was talking about. That was like one because originally it was one ten, but then I left this out because this is my little sticker, or whatever. Yeah. And that added up to one. I'm like, dang. Right. And while she counting it, I did tell her I was like, she can come back. I need to get a picture of you too. Yeah, I told her she can come back and stay here or whatever and come work, stock her bread up. So, yeah, it's only up from here. Like, yeah. <laughs> All it is to do is to make the money and stock the money, save the money, invest the money. Like, that's it. I remember when I first started this, I used to count like that. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> Style. I'm giving you nostalgia. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Seven in it. Seven. Oh my God, you spent oh, way more money. Cause then you have like I thought you had like the other day. One. Cause you made seventy the first year. Yeah. I mean, didn't you make a hundred? Night? Or no? Nah, I made 101 tonight. And then the other night. Yeah. We should have wrote it down. <laughs> we got to go back and look. Yeah, look at the footage. Okay, so you're leaving with 170, what? 78? Yeah, 178. 178, 178 plus $4. Okay, 182. Plus another dollar. 182. 183. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel like your week went? Like, do you feel like this was a good investment for you, even though as of right now, you didn't leave what you wanted to do? Yeah, I feel like this was definitely a good investment for me, at least like on the networking part, because I don't really focus on like the money itself because money comes and goes. It depends on like what I decide to do with it and how I decide to handle it and handle my investments and how I'm going to build all of that. So I feel like it definitely was a good and great experience. I'm definitely coming back. <laughs> don't like it's not because when I first used to watch the videos, like, I used to be like, damn, like, I see these bitches come on with bags. Like, oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Like, what? Hell yeah. And then, like, to see it in 4K, like, in real life, it's just like, it's not going to be like that all the time. Like, you have to work your way up. And I'm not the type of person to give up, so. And then, I'm glad you put that in there about watching our, well, my videos. And I know you probably watch more people's videos, but mm -hmm. something that I have always told y'all is nobody really is sitting here vlogging they bad nights and you have to think me being a youtuber i'm gonna post more good well y'all know me i post whatever now like, I'm gonna post. but like in the beginning you want to post more good nights because it gets people to watch your videos mm -hmm. so i always tell girls and they be so shocked when they you can't look so much. which one is that <laughs> it's the i don't even know i bought it on somebody Okay, my phone cut off because I ran out of stories. But basically, like, it'd be the complete different opposite. But, I don't know. I'm proud of you. You, you can come back and make more money. I'm yes, not going to charge you to stay here. Just hit me up ahead of time and I'll block yeah, it off. Yeah. And I want you to come back. Are you going to come back? I, of course. Okay. okay. I feel like I started something here. I can't just... You feel me? That is it. Like, I definitely started something here and I want to see it through. Through. My last question before we go, I'm gonna show y'all her like me take her to the airport. Uh, she's just gonna chill out with me tonight, eat and just chill out. But I'm just keep recording. But the last thing I wanna know, do you feel like? And I'm gonna show honest answer. Like I want. So your season is the first season of me rebranding my boot camp after doing so many seasons and after stuff just went left and was just out of my control. Yeah. yeah not COVID. <laughs> So like this season, it was just, I don't know, I just felt like it was special to me because I focused more, I felt like this season versus the other seasons, I focused more on the learning. Like I wasn't being messy, like trying to start drama. Like, you know, like with you and the other girl, like I didn't like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you got to watch like other seasons, how like I would do confessions, pull them to the mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. ask them like certain messy questions. Mm -hmm. I felt like this season was growth for me because I focused more on the, the learning stuff and it might suck the to y'all yeah because y'all be want to see like drama and like shit like that but i feel like the purpose of my a long time like as i kept doing my boot camp i lost focus of what i originally started for like i started everybody was like okay you should do this you should do that we want to see this you want to see that but it's about what you want exactly to and that's why this this time i just feel like this is important it's special to me because you you literally is starting something new like something new but in a good way for me and for like future girls to come so i just want to say that but i do want to get your opinion don't like, even cry <laughs> don't cry y'all oh, i'm trying not to cry no, either okay, okay. and i'm gonna say this too before she talks we kept saying like angel numbers or whatever the whole like week the whole week, i really feel like, like god sent you like i feel like god picked you for my rebrand of like my boot camp because like it's just your personality, bitch. You don't complain. Stop. You like y'all like I complain like you. She's open to 
like learning like I love it because you knew like, or whatever, but it was it just flowed easier. Like you yeah. was with I personally just like grew up that way, like for like yeah, just fuck it. Like Cause previous season bitches complain oh what the fuck was that? You heard that? Yeah, I heard that. Oh. They complain, we wanna do this, we wanna do that, oh she's this, she's that. But like how do you feel about the Kim? Like, do you feel like it was worth it? And also, do you feel like I genuinely care about you learning stuff? Or do you feel yeah. like I just give a fuck about the money? Of course. I feel like all of it. Like, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's your your brand is technically also me branding myself. You feel me? Like, I also have something to show. So, with that being said, it's like... I'd rather show, like, you first before I show, like, the world. Because I have other things outside of this. I know. And you already know. Yeah. yeah, so I definitely, I'm the type of person where it's like, if I'm on, I'm going to put other people on. So that's just how I've always been. Like, I want to see everybody around me prosper. Yeah, bro, I I love this boot camp. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> even going to cap. Like, I genuinely do. It's, ah, I was nervous about it at first. Why would you nervous? Because I'm just like, damn, ATL. I don't, I don't really know much about Atlanta. All I know is that y'all peaches is good. Other than that, it's just like, <laughs> nah, peaches is good. Yeah, y'all peaches is awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fresh pick up the farm. But no, um, I'm definitely highly appreciative of the season and not even the season, like of you. Just you with yourself. Like, you made me feel comfortable and that's what, that's what people need, like. You feel me? Period. That's it. <laughs> Period. On a, on a pussy like, asshole. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, <laughs> like, I feel like the footage will show for itself how much I enjoy being there. And I What's so crazy? Up. I don't know if you got to read some of the comments, but people literally was in the comments like, this season feels so different. Like, they so yeah. open to learn. Yeah. Even though it's just you now, but still, mm -hmm. like... Mm. I tend not to read the comments because people be talking. Well, it was good comments though. Yeah. yeah. Compared to so yeah, cause I only put two episodes out so far, but it was, it was good. But y'all, this is gonna be it for now. I'm gonna get footage of us like just show it in the club or whatever, and me took us to the airport. Um. So yeah, y'all just stay tuned. If y'all got like any questions, cause literally this is gonna be like the final episode. After this episode, I'll do like a sit down Q and A about any questions that y'all have about this season previous seasons or whatever containing like concerning to Kim and I will have her um link to her YouTube pinned down below in the comment section so let's get her to 500 period. Yeah, period how many where are you at right now uh 224 yeah let's get her to 500 but y'all think y'all think and three are down there yeah we're saying let's see we would have not been able to do this if it was like, well, I would have been able to do that like this. Yeah, like the car. Better be a honking. Hurry up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm, get out the way. Y'all, she leaving? I'm out of here, but I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to miss you, and please I'm gonna come I'm going to miss you more, And I appreciate sis. you so, so much. Yes, anytime, like, sis. You already know. You really was my angel. From yeah. God to, to help me with the re rebrand of my boot camp. Y'all already know, big rebrand. Y'all already know. <laughs> Period. Sure boot camp. Yeah. Oh, make sure y'all go subscribe to her YouTube channel. Get her to 500. Period. Triple and S R I A underscore yeah. something with a U, no O, no E. Just a U. Period. Period. <laughs> go to New York and push the fuck through like you, you did here. Know, Period. You know, I love you. I love you too. Be safe.